Hello, my name is Tony Fawcett, and welcome to Now Daft. It's early on Christmas Eve, it is the first day of the Festive 500. I am due to get on a train at 8.45 to Carlisle and then I'm going to ride back from the west to the east because it's a raging tailwind today. Actually, like a ridiculous storm, which makes this ride probably the stupidest thing I've ever done. Uh, but might be quite quick or I might get blown off and probably ruin Christmas for everyone. However, I have slept in so I'm going to have to get cracking with the napping and because uh, for some strange reason my alarm hasn't gone off. Bike's all prepped. Let's head into Newcastle. Let's get on the train. Let's get cracking with the napping. But most of all, how daft. Right, I've made it into Newcastle. Uh, it's very, very windy. Yeah. So now I'm going to go and try and get on the train. You couldn't book a spot for the bike, so it's a bit of a lottery of whether I'm actually going to get on or not. So fingers crossed we get on. <laughs> so I'm on the train, heading to Carlisle now. I did manage to get on the train. I was worried about that, but I did make it on. But it seems like a lot of other people have had the same idea today. Apparently, let the train do the... <laughs> That's that's the catchphrase of today. So yeah, there's about it's about six to eight of us on the train heading west to utilise the the massive tailwind we've got home. However, looking out the window, it looks like it's going to be quite a grim day out. Fingers crossed. But most of all, out daft. So I'm here now in Carlisle. Uh, the train ride was quite nice. Had a little festive little uh, pigs in blanket sandwich, and I've got. A couple of festive pork pies in the little front bag. So I'm buzzing about that. Pause at this point. Let's get crack with the natin. The weather is looking absolutely atrocious. However, we do have a raging tailwind, which I'm buzzing about. So I booked the train. I got the train from Newcastle to Carlisle. I booked it to the Uber app. And with the Uber app, you got five pound off. So in total, today's train journey has cost me three pounds. So it cost us three pounds to get from Newcastle to Carlisle, which if I'm honest, in this wind is probably the best money I've ever spent in my life. So, over there is Hartside. I am approximately, pro well, not approximately, I am about 15 mile into the ride. I've got Rennick. Uh, I've just topped for a cheeky little toilet stop. So far, so good. Haven't gotten lost. Uh, once I get to the top of Hartside, I know my way from there. So, should be pretty plain sailing. Do have a tailwind, but it doesn't really feel like it's sort of helping. It's really really windy but yeah just doesn't feel like it's really helping i feel absolutely dreadful however i've got a couple of little a couple of little pick-me-ups for this ride i've got a, a packet of festive pork pies now i'm not sure what a festive pork pie is but i've got them and they're in the little front bag because as we all know it's not an adventure if you haven't got a little front pouch on so i've got a front pouch on today with me jacket me rain cape and a down jacket in there just in case uh however it is very very warm so i can't see us needing the down jacket today it's christmas eve it's the start of the festa 500 i've got a raging tailwind and the sun is sort of shining the roads are a little bit wet but do you know what it is it's not that bad and the lovely allison is waiting for me at home with some superb cheese board. So let's get cracking with the natin. But most of all, have a great Christmas and let's get this ride done and ticked off and get this Festive 500 started. But most of all, no daft. side and when I got to the top of hard side I literally there was no point stopping it was so windy I couldn't even stand up so descended now up into Alston cheeky little cheese and onion pasty uh, hopefully that'll get us all the way home now it was cold coming down there so I'm gonna to put my gloves back on anyway let's get crap with the nap get this nice bit of pastry down us but most of all I'm daft
after a bit of a bad period from sort of Alston, well, it's more like, not Alston, sort of Nent Head, Nent Head all the way to Durham, I've been in a, a bit of a hole, uh, feeling quite rough, tired, knackered, not feeling it, not enjoying it, and uh, a little bit of rain. But uh, yeah, what was meant to be quite an easy ride has actually turned out to be quite a hard ride. Uh, I've got 7,000 feet of climbing on, and yes, I've had a tailwind most of the day, but it's still quite a lot of climbing for, I think I've done 80 mile plus 10 mile commute this morning, so 90 mile in total. Uh, yeah, quite a, yeah, very, very tough little day out. I'm, uh, I was so tired I couldn't even get my pork pies out of my little bag. So I'm going to go in now, see the lovely Alison, and absolutely destroy a can of full fat coke and a couple of cheeky pork pies that I've got in the front there. Anyway, let's get crap on the nap. But most of all, now we're daft. Hey up, there's the lovely Alison. What's the lovely Alison been up to today? Sorting the table out. We're all set for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Yeah. Done a magnificent job on the Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. Haven't you? Christmas ya? tree, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, buddy. Buddy's loving his little stroke there. That was an absolute, ridiculously savage day out on the bike. Uh, was meant to be an easy ride with a massive raging tailwind. However, I, I underestimated about, yeah. how many climbs there was and how much. Yeah. I haven't fed very well. I've had one cheese and onion pasty. And oh, I bet you that repeated on you. No, it actually went down an absolute treat. Uh, and I've had one coffee and I barely even touched the bottle, so I'm mega dehydrated. So now, I'm now going to go and get myself a full fat can of Coke and put away these little bad boys. Festive pork pies. I don't ask us what's festive about them. I think it's probably just the packaging. I'd say it's a, jo it's a jolly nice ride now I'm back in the house and it's a massive tick in the festive 500. I will have done approximately 150 kilometers of the 500 oh, today. I see I'm not going to do the festive 500 every year, but then it comes around and I'm like, ah, I should just do it. But most of all, now die.